That's a 98. Uh, I forgot how funny they look. They look long as hell. You got a 98 Viper and you got Spectra AutoZone silicone couplings and AutoZone piping with the sticker still on it. How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video and it seems like I must have moved to Florida or something because it is raining every other week here. I think it rains more in Florida, but we're getting on track with it. And one of the only things I liked about California was its weather. Now, it might be time to get the hell out of the state. I'm trying to go ride some motorcycles later today. I don't think it's going to happen because of this weather. We'll see if it clears up in the next couple hours. But uh, regardless, today, instead of looking at my cars, we're going to look at your guys' cars. We'll do a good old-fashioned classic ricer nice. We'll see if the cars are ass. We'll see if they're nice. We'll see if they're fire. We'll see if I like them. We'll see if you're getting any bitches. Stuff like that. Anyways, I do want to do a subscriber uh, exhaust battle. So we'll do good exhausts and bad exhausts so submit your car for one of those don't do both if you do both i'm not throwing it in video i'm telling you right now either submit your car for a good exhaust or bad exhaust send it to my gmail drewpeacock.clips.gmail.com anyways let's go ahead and dive right in let's take a look at some of these builds here we go first car is a c6 corvette now we're gonna go based off of the photos it's not a build battle so we're not doing no uh Full build sheet type stuff we're just going based off of photos here this is if i saw you guys cruising around what would i think of your car so you got slow c6 you are in the base model so it's kind of a fitting license plate hopefully it's not the ls2 uh, maybe i could check the year on it and see if it's the ls2 i like yellow cars i know a lot of people don't but i, I personally like yellow i think it's a good sports car color like when you think of sports cars you think of red you think of blue and i think of yellow as well black and white and gray it's too basic for me that's regular traffic like look at the v6 charger in the background regular traffic you don't want a white corvette it's just too basic you want something sporty i like it the tinted tail lights is you know a little out there but i guess you wouldn't want giant red circles either so i get your your logic behind it like you don't want to be associated with mcdonald's here but uh it's there's a little bit too tinted for me I, a light smoke job i like i know it's funny how trends come and go so fast, like tinted murdered outlook used to be the thing a few years back, and now people are like, oh, you're goofy as hell if you don't have clear tails and stuff like that. Like, people want their tails as clear as possible. I like a light smoke job. I always have. I think it's perfect. Just light enough just to tint it, and that's it. No, no, no full-on black, though. It's nice. It's, it's a nice Corvette. Doesn't look like, you know, crazy over-modified. It's got aftermarket headlights. It's, it's nice. We're not going to read his whole build sheet, but it makes 505 wheel horsepower, and it's got a giant cam in it, so uh, probably sounds really good. Next car. Wow, this photo looks like it was taken with fucking four filters. Why is it so dark? There we go. Okay, we got a Subaru WRX. I think it's an STI. No, it's just a base WRX. Mm, bold move. Bold move. Putting an STI wing on a base WRX. What is with these photos? Why, why are they looking like that? What the fuck are you taking these photos with? Come on, man. Like, submit some good photos. Okay, so... Yeah, it is just a base WRX. He does have a flex fuel badge on there, so we know that there's some goodies. I like his wheel, okay? Uh, I, his interior is all right. He really sucks at photography. Like, don't quit your day job. You are really dog shit at taking photos. Oh, this is, like, the only good photo so far. We got a front mount. We got aftermarket wheels, uh, flex fuel system. So it's probably bolt-ons, flex fuel. I mean, it's a solid build. That's not bad. Photos, like I said, really suck, but car itself ain't too bad. Not my favorite wheels. I will I will be honest with you. I'm not a huge fan of of these wheels. They they don't look JDM to me. They look like I don't even know, uh, European maybe. Uh, like I could maybe see those on like a BMW. They kind of do. I don't know. They're just not my cup of tea. When in doubt, RPF1. I know it's basic, but it looks good on everything. But yeah, I mean it's a it's a it's a good good looking build from what I can see. It's stage 3 built to 520 horsepower. I don't know if it makes 520 horsepower or if it's just built to handle that, but Either way, it's putting down some good power. It's nice. I like it. Another Subi. I guess a couple of them, but we'll, we'll choose the black one for this uh, for this one, I guess. Ooh, we got a dyno chart. See, this is this is perfect. You don't leave me guessing on nothing. Okay, so I see a front mount. Uh, this is the... What, which one is this? The blob eye? This isn't the Hawkeye. I don't know which one this is. I think it's the blob eye. They all have dumb names. I'm not going to lie. Like, I think mine was the Raptor eye or something like that. Like, who the fuck names them? Some stupid shit like that. Uh, oh, let's look at the dyno chart. So it makes 510 horsepower. Let me just tell you, when I had my Subaru, 
and it was bone stock. It was fun for 300 crank horsepower, whatever they come with. It was fun. 510 wheel? This thing hurts people's feelings. This thing, this thing bullies V8s. Now, this is one of the reasons why I never really wanted to modify it is because look at this fucking shit show that you got to do to make power. Like, look at this thing. This is the most over-engineered shit ever. Like, it, it just is so cluttered. So much shit you got to take off and, and, and just to service certain shit. It's, I never go. I never got into it for, for that kind of reason. I never, I never really wanted to. Um, and also, the car lit on fire. So, it'd just be like that. Um, Anywho, uh, yeah, a 510 wheel horsepower, it's kind of like a little sleeper in my book, like from the exterior it looks pretty stock, but I guarantee this thing just, oh, Hellcat dude's punching air after this dude gaps him. Probably a lot of Mustangs too. You know Mustangs love racing imports, that's just a thing that we do. Alright, next car, don't even know what it is, we got NRG carbon seats, that's crazy, it's crazy expensive. Okay, we got a BMW of some sort. We got A-pillar gauges, carbon fiber steering wheel. We have harnesses. What are we looking at here? So we still have twins on it. We got two filters. Still have twins. VMS. I mean, like, they're, they, they're, they're wheels, but there's just much better wheels out there. VMS is like, they're kind of like RPF1s in a way, okay? RPF1s are authentic Japanese wheels, but they're cheap, and they're cookie cutter, and you see them everywhere, right? VMS wheels are kind of the same thing. They're cheap, they're basic, they're cookie cutter, and you kind of see them everywhere. Like, I don't think they look horrible, but at the same time, I don't think they look great either. Like, if you're just trying to make power and you're just trying to gap people and you just want something cheap and whatever, but, like, it's definitely not like a show car wheel, especially for the price. I mean, you, you spent the money on carbon buckets, but you, you won't buy a pair of, of welds. I'm just going to say, you know, it'd be like that, I guess. Anywho, uh, it's a 335i, obviously uh, putting down some good power. We'll, t we'll take a quick look at his build sheet, but uh, yeah, those wheels are just oh, not my favorite. Not my favorite at all. 600 wheel horsepower, 335i, 19T upgraded turbos, carbon seats, and slicks. I wouldn't say slicks. Like, I don't know if you're blind, but that's not a slick. That is a street tire. It literally says ET Street SS right there. Great tire. This tire I have on the Supra. They put down power. I love that fucking tire. But it's not a slick. Like, you could drive in the fucking rain with that thing. I've done it, you know. That's that's not a slick. Nice car, though. Still still nice. We haven't had any hunks of shit yet, which is great. You guys have some sick builds. I like episodes like this where we're looking at cool cars and not just dog shit. But I still hope we see some dog shit, you know. So I, still, I still like looking at it. Another BMW, we got an E46 here. Uh, I think these are Apex wheels. Well, see, for BMWs, Apex wheels are just beautiful. I wanted to get some for my Mustang. My, my, my buddy Mark, he had two M3s. And I think they both had Apex wheels on them. And it's just, it's just like the perfect wheel. Just It's just so beautiful. I love the concavity. I love the spoke design. It's just a great looking wheel. Anyways, this is fully gutted, harnessed racing seats see this is how you do a harness guys this is how you do a harness you have it going through the harness bar and then it's mounted to the floor i mean you can mount it to the harness bar but don't just mount it to the floor we've talked about this a billion times he did it right good job i like the little stripe it's subtle it's clean i would maybe clean up your interior i'm guessing this is a before you know this looks like a a rat's nest this looks like uh somebody stole all your shit real quick probably looks like a hellcat out there in downtown la right now I, I guarantee there's one somewhere in la that looks like this but uh yeah you just gotta you just gotta clean it up a little bit nice aftermarket wheel little nice aftermarket shifter i don't know what the wooden two by four is for that's a weird uh parking brake lock what i'm guessing is maybe it's a drift car maybe it's a drift car and he disconnected his button on his uh uh, uh, parking brake, so he can just crank up on it. You just jerk that shit off really quick. That's that's what my guess is. Uh, but there's not like crazy angle or anything, so I don't know. I guess let's. Uh, I'll take a, a a brief look at his description. I always say don't read descriptions. I'm not reading the whole thing. But completely gutted. 23 pounds of wiring stripped. Nice. No heater. No AC. No radio. Sound deadening. Weighs 2780 with me in it. That's a light car. Like when you think 2700 pounds, you're thinking Honda Civics. This guy made an E46 sedan weigh that much. 
It's got an M54 B25 swap, a B30 intake, MS43 ECU swap. If you guys want to read all this, go for it. Uh, designed for track car, but far from being done. I bought it not knowing a lot. Found out it was a Frankenstein build. Um, cool, though. No, I mean, that's cool for you to stick with it. It's it's a good looking car. I like it. Uh, I'm, I'm interested to see where this goes. It's a very cool setup so far. I need to gut my dude. If I, then again, I still have the radio in the Mustang, but if I gut all the wiring in there, we shed like 50 more pounds. By the way, speaking of Mustangs, I got new shocks coming this week. We're about to be doing some fucking wheelies. So subscribe so you can come back and, and look at my cars. Okay. I know you guys like your cars, but let's look at my cars too. Anywho, uh, 98 Viper build battle. Okay. We got some ports, got a little port job going down. Okay, he's porting that shit. That's yeah, a 98. Uh, I forgot how funny they look. They look long as hell. God damn, look at that manifold. Holy shit. You got a 98 Viper and you got Spectra AutoZone silicone couplings and AutoZone piping with the sticker still on it. Somebody take this guy's Viper away. I like the red, white, and blue. You know, you even got little stripes. That's sick. Cool. I don't know if that's OEM. I doubt it, but that's cool. I like that. America. This bullshit gotta go, though. Like, you gotta fucking... Mm. None of your clamps line up. Some of them are facing the wrong way. Come on, man. Come on, man. What are you doing here? You can't be having a 98 Viper porting the motor and doing this bullshit. Okay, at least... Okay, from here, it looks good. From here, that's a good-looking shot. That is a crazy hood. I wonder if there's a, a quick disconnect, like, to kind of teeter it off because i feel like you're you're pretty limited on room yeah okay well he disconnected it from i guess the actual st struts so i thought the specter fucking and couplers just kill it for me it's a cool car but you got some shit you got to fix on that thing you can't be you can't be pulling up with the 98 the 98 viper with spectra intake couplers that's shit i had on my honda there's a big price difference there you know let, let's, let's let's grow up a little bit Okay, um, okay, uh, if you want to read this, go for it. It's a 90% effort NA build, ported and polished heads, custom grind comp cam, 70 millimeter throttle bodies. Doesn't say how much it makes, though. Doesn't seem to say. He said it spins into third, though, which, which I do believe. Before he did all this, I guess it was making 488, and then he spun a bearing, so. It's a cool car. Change those couplers. All right, what do we got here? Here we go, our first piece of shit. Stay humble, buddy. No offense. You don't got to be humble in this car, man. You get your way up somehow. Okay, never mind. Homeboy out here doing a full-on build. Okay, we got the glitter bomb. Somebody threw in a glitter bomb. Okay. I mean, it's, it's better than the first photo. Like, we've come a long way from this to this. This looks much nicer. The paint ain't in a hundred percent all there. Or no, that's orange peel galore. That looks more textured than my nutsack. Um, you got a B swap of some sort. It is a V Tech head, so that's cool. Wonder if it's a B twenty V Tech, B eighteen V Tech. Now you went from stay humble to let him hate. Homeboy painted his car and now owns the street. Uh, also, I mean, I don't know if this is chip and paint, but it um, doesn't look like a quality paint job. Okay, we got some motor work here. We can see what it is. Like he's doing He's doing his work, though, you know? He's doing more work than most of y'all. You can't hate on him. He out here building cars. Okay, respect. I like him. You know, I don't know if you need uh, hood pins for a factory hood with a NA um, <laughs> a B series. I, I don't think you need this. I don't think you need these hood pins. Like, they're cool, but... Also looks like it's wrapped carbon. I'm just going to say that. It looks wrapped carbon or it's painted carbon. I don't know because it's obviously not carbon because it's chipping. So one way or another, it ain't it ain't carbon. This is fire. This is cool. I like that. Good job on that. It's a B20 bottom end with the CTR high compression pistons, speed factory rods, uh, built GSR head, recently put stage three NA cams with a GSR transmission. Okay, see, so he's got a... He's got a uh, a good effort. I don't want to say max effort, but a good effort in a build. So, thumbs up. That's respect. You see, we started hating on it. And you see, he didn't just sit down and fucking die. He ended up doing something with it. That's what the car scene's all about. Not not just fucking asking for a participation award. Earning one. You did good. I like it. 
Drew only hates on cars because he's got money and these cars are for poor people. I get comments like that every day. And it's like, dude, if these people watch my videos, like I don't hate, like, I don't think we've hated on one car today. And there, there's cars ranging from that $2,000 car to fucking the, the Viper. And we haven't hated on anything. So people are delusional, man. All right, we got an EG hatch here. Kind of looks like mine. Got a hood exit. It's going to be a B-series. I can tell you that right now. Just by the placement of where that is, going to be a B-series. Another let him hate, though. He also had the same wheels. So it might be the same guy. Because the other guy had the same wheels. We got two EG hatches. Man, can I join your crew? I want to join the EG hatch crew. Carbon fiber uh, tr uh, tr hatch, a clamshell hatch, or whatever you want to call it. I, I, I like how it looks. I'm not going to do it on mine, though, because I just want mine to look so low-key. I'm not going to do it. It is cool, though. I do like how it looks. There's a B-series right there. I told you. He's got two of them there, actually, technically. Giant carbon fiber uh, intake. I like the teal color, man. I, I'm happy mine is teal colored. If mine was any other colored, I wouldn't like it. Oh, speaking of Hondas, that video should be out this week as well. Hopefully. Should be. We'll see. I'm um, still working on it. So, <laughs> yeah. Anywho, yeah, I'm, it looks like a, I mean, dude, that's a hood exit. It's got to be a Turbo B series, unless someone just shot his hood with a 12 gauge shotgun. I like it as well, though. See? See what I'm talking about, guys? This channel's not all about hate. It's about real builds. It's about real car, guys. This isn't, this isn't a participation award channel. Oh, you did your best. You put a fake hood scoop. Here you go. You're valid. No, not happening. The, even if this thing was a stock, you know, D series, if it's an SI, it came with a D series. Even if it was stock, it's still he took care of it. It's a clean car. He didn't ruin it. I would still give him a cookie. It's not a. It's not about money. It's not about builds. He's got a B eighteen C GSR bottom end, B sixteen head GSR transmission. Fun car. Very fun car. Can we make it a whole episode without seeing one turd? We might. We'll do a couple more. Here we go, Dodge Charger. I don't know where you found this bad boy, but it's beautiful. Oh God, look at that paint. Look at that paint, oh my God. I think it's an auto. It looks like that's an auto bezel, which I mean, back then that was that was the shit, you know? Like, you got an auto, you had money. It's obviously a nice car. I, I would be surprised if somebody could rice one of these out. Like the only person that could probably rice one of these out and not cry over it would be like Whistle and Diesel. Like, he would be like the only one that can take one of these and destroy it and not cry. Such a nice looking car. Such a survivor. You never see these. I've maybe seen like two or three Dodge Chargers of this era in my whole life. Nowadays, you see a damn Dodge Charger at every goddamn lot. They always be revving the shit out of it. 1969 Dodge Charger SE 383 White Hat Special 3-Speed Auto. Nice car. All right, we'll see. For the last car, let's see if it's a nice car. Let's see if we can get through this whole episode and you guys are just stacked. Stacked builds after stacked build after stacked build. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Who's it? Okay, we're not going to hate first. We're not going to hate first. We got a new Honda Civic here. Personally, not a fan of how they look. They just look like an older Honda Accord. But we got, I see some wheels. It looks lowered. Well, let's take a look at what he did. The paint looks great. He doesn't have weather guards. He's got a nice tint job. Wheels, I think, are, are, are fine. They, they're cool. They're fine. Um, that's how I literally test my fitment as well. I, I usually do two fingers all the way around. That's, that's what I like because then I could drive the car and I could push it through corners. And we're cool. It's a, it's a good-looking Honda Civic. The interior on these is really nice as well. Like, that's a good-looking interior. He's got a K-tuner right here as well. Okay. This dude knows what's up. Carbon fiber shift knob. This guy, this guy knows what's up. That's a good-looking interior. So I, I like how we left the exterior pretty low key. You know, he's got a little little ducktail trunk spoiler on it. Nothing crazy. He did some wheels and he lowered it. See, he's got a K tuner. He's got some carbon fiber goodies. Like it's a it's a good looking car. Would I go out and buy one? Maybe not, but I can still respect it because he's doing some work to it. But now let's take a quick read at what he's done. So he's 17. It's his first car. Wondering what you thought of it. It's not crazy fast, but it's definitely fun and makes a good daily, which is respectable right there. It's a 1.5 liter uh, turbo, K-tuned with 21 PSI of boost, estimated around 225 wheel horsepower, lowered on Swift Spec R springs, Super Speed RFFO5 bronze wheels, 255-35-18 Continental DSW06s, Remark stainless steel exhaust with burnt tips, and a Takeda cold air intake. 
This 17 year old's got more mods than you. You guys got to step up your game. No, sick though, honestly. For at me at 17, genuinely, I was looking at fake hood scoops. So you're already ahead of the game. You're already ahead of the game. Good job on that. Anyways, guys, we got through a whole episode. Didn't see one car that I absolutely hated. I just want to congratulate you guys on having some really cool cars. Like seriously, like we were ranging from 17 year olds with actual builds to people that are still in their later ages working on old chargers or vipers and stuff like that. So very cool, very nice to see. This is the kind of car scene I want. Not full of posers and phonies. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Send in your exhaust clips, either to good or to bad exhaust. Um, just put that in the subject bar and it'll end up in one of those videos. Subscribe and until next video, peace.